Hi, my name is Zakarad, and welcome to my podcast. Death is no big deal. In fact, death does not even really exist. How about that, folks? All right, so death is really no big deal because it really does not even exist at all. Physical death means very little, something that the you know the animal kingdom totally understands implicitly, well, intuitively, and many indigenous populations have understood for millennia because of their connection to the land and, and the animal kingdom and nature and the plant kingdom, as well as you know, the Devic kingdoms and the fairy kingdoms and connection to the spirit realms. But the, the, the further humans have gotten from the animal and plant kingdoms, the more importance humanity has placed upon this thing called death that doesn't really exist. It's just something humans came up with because they feel disconnected from source, from God, and therefore feel disconnected from their own spirits and from their souls and disconnected from their divinity and power and immortality and God, source, etc., etc. I mean, every person and every creature and every plant has a soul, a spirit that is eternal and immortal. So, in truth, death does not exist. And even if your body does die, you, you, a spirit, as soul, as source, as God, don't ever, ever, ever die. And you can keep coming back as often as you like for uh, uh, for other amazing leading edge uh, experiences in incarnations, or you can just stay in non-physical, uh, you know, in heaven, so to speak. So, if, in fact, we are all eternal, and in fact, we are all eternal, and we can have an infinite amount of lifetimes, and of course we can, then why do we make such a big-ass hairy deal about death? Well, it's because people don't understand that they are immortal, and therefore that they can't make a mistake, and don't need to prove anything to God or anyone. And so, they believe that they have a limited time to get it right, and prove their worth to deserve favor from the judging, condemning God, so that they can get into heaven, so to speak, and 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 earn eternal life. But you don't have to earn anything. You are immortal, you're eternal, no matter what. The other reason is people use other people as a way to connect to God's source. And when that the person that they love dies, well, they feel a disconnection from that source. If you're using another person as your excuse to connect to God, well, you're going to feel like you've been abandoned by God. You're going to feel like you've They've ripped your heart out, the classic broken heart scenario. But their their source connection hasn't gone anywhere. Because we are always connected to source. But the person who we used or you used to connect to that source because of the way they made you feel, well, is gone. So really it's just the way that they made you feel that is gone. So for an, an enlightened, aware person like myself who sees the big picture and does not use other people to connect to my source and does, and I, and, and does not use physical conditions in order to feel better and feel good and be happy and again, to connect to source, when someone we love dies, it, it's really no big deal. I know they haven't really gone anywhere. In fact, they are more present now than when they were in a body. They're just non-physical presence. Because now they are not limiting themselves with their negative thinking and their regrets and their shame and their guilt, etc., that people use to disconnect themselves from source. So when someone dies, someone dies that you love, and you're grieving because you are missing them, well, you are not really missing them because they haven't really gone anywhere. You're just missing the way that they made you feel. You're missing the source connection that they vicariously helped you create because of your positive feelings about them and the positive feelings you were having because of your experience with them. 
you're not feeling bad because your friend or your lover or your relative or your child is gone. You're feeling bad because you're focusing on the loss of how they made you feel. You're focused on the past, not the present. You imagine that you're going to feel bad forever and ever. You're focused in a negative direction and feeling disconnected from source because source is always and only focused in positive directions the way you were focused when they were alive. You're the, pers the person you love that has quote-unquote died is, is in heaven, so to speak. Well, source is focused on where they are now in heaven, being non-physical, alive, thriving, completely allowing, completely open, completely empowered. Source is not focused on where they came from and what they've lost. So, Source is always and only focused in positive directions the way that you were focused when you were with them and they were alive. But now you're focused on loss. And so you feel terrible because Source is not ever focused on loss. Source is focused on thriving and growing and expanding and fun and joy and abundance in the new. As I said before, the new is how they are now. Now they're in non-physical. Now they're in heaven, so to speak. Now they're completely open. Now they're completely not limiting themselves in any way. And Source is focused on the current thriving, exciting life that your new friend or lover or whoever has died, uh, that they are currently living. And the ecstasy they are living and the fun that they're experiencing. <laughs> Source is not focused on their their body decaying and rotting in the graves and worms crawling in and out of them. Your grief is because you're thinking about how they used to be, especially in regards to you. You're selfishly thinking about how they made you feel, not how they are now and how they are the awesome, amazing experiences and feelings that they are having now. And by thinking about how they used to be, not how they are now, it is impossible for you to connect with them how they are now, which is 100% aware and 100% connected to their essence of joy and empowerment and fun and well-being and prosperity and creativity, etc., etc. And they're trying to connect to you. They are trying to connect to you. But you're not answering your phone. You're on a different frequency entirely. So you can't hear them or feel them because, again, you're focused on how they used to be, not how they are now. So if you want to connect with someone who has kicked the bucket, you've got to first get connected to your own source. And then you got to connect to the perfection and the magnificence of who and what they are now, not who they were as a human with their many faults and issues. Do anything that can raise up your vibration so that you are happy, feeling better, feeling good, feeling ease, feeling some relief, and then connect to how they are now. you got to imagine what it is like for any soul who has, you know, who slips this mortal coil and goes to pure positive spiritual energy where they are now where they have no limitations and no regrets and no shame and no guilt and no judgment and no lack of self-worth, etc., 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 where everyone instantly remembers their pure, divine, completely empowered, infinite, immortal, joyful, fun, magnificence. you got to focus on that. you got to focus on where they are now, which is where they have no regrets, such as you know, regretting hurting someone or hurting you or, because there is nothing but attraction and there are no victims and everyone attracts every single experience. And everyone knows that there is nothing serious going on down here on planet Earth. Well, especially when you die, you get that. It's just experience and growth and expansion and creation and desire and joy. So you got to understand that that's how they feel now. They have no regrets. They're not thinking about the past. They're not thinking about what they left. 
They're not having any shame or guilt that they didn't accomplish this or didn't accomplish that or etc. etc. They understand that no one ever gets anything wrong. They never did anything wrong. And they understand immediately, of course, that there's no such thing as a judging God, etc., etc., etc. Imagine that they have stepped fully into that divine power and joy and magnificence. And they love you completely, 100% unconditionally, no matter what you think you've done to them, no matter what you believe they've done to you. All is forgiven because there was never anything to forgive in the first place. Everything is a co-creation. And they only see you, now Now that they've kicked the bucket, they only see you as totally perfect and divine and 100% fully empowered and prosperous and loving and prosperous, etc. And, and, and prosperous and fun and joy and joy and more fun and more prosperity, etc., etc. They see you exactly as they currently experience themselves, which is divinely perfect. They don't see any, any of your supposed faults. They see you as totally immortal, how they see themselves. They see you as infinite, which is how they see themselves. They see you as joyful and prosperous and fun and talented, etc., which is how they see themselves now. Everything you can imagine yourself to be as a divine, immortal infinite, unconditionally loving spirit, that is how they see you. Because that's how they experience themselves. Now, and the more you can understand that and feel that magnificence that you both truly are, the more you will be able to see and hear and feel mostly, mostly, importantly, feel the awesome divine magnificence that they truly are, and that you truly are, and you'll actually be able to translate what they're quote unquote saying to you. Now, they're probably not talking to you, they're mostly vibrating to you the way your source does. Now, you might translate that as a vibration, like they might, they are, of course, going to be vibrating love to you, so you'll just translate that as love, you know, etc., etc. And they are very much interested in your life, every single aspect of your life. So understand that. All right, so I hope uh, you got this uh, something from this. And uh, if you have lost anybody and you're feeling down in the dumps, well, I hope this helps you. So go over this a zillion times. Uh, get happy. Think about how they are now, the magnificence that they are now. And then you'll actually be able to feel how awesome they are now, and you'll feel awesome. All right, so if you got something from this, share with your friends, bless them with these amazing teachings, um, and come visit me at zakyron.com for more self-empowering videos and podcasts and books and articles and products and goodies to help you become a conscious, powerful, deliberate creator of reality. My name is Zakyron, and I help success-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Thank you again for watching this video or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense fun and adventure on your exciting adventure of creating everything that you want and having fun in this joyful experience. And of course, remember to make life a holiday. Woo!